My name is Amy Hurst, and if you follow our Facebook at all, you will know that I kind of put a little teaser out there the other day about a really epic thing that was going to happen, and uh, that epic thing did happen today, so I wanted to share it all with you. Um, it, it involves some really good people, and it involves some really bad people, so... Um, I've tried to film this four times and I started to cry before I even talked. So I'm going to try to get through this, but I, I want to share you and take you all on this journey. Um, a couple weeks ago, I was scrolling through Facebook and, you know, I see posts about scams and, and rescue things all the time because I've been in rescue for a long time and um, there's just a lot of bad people out there. But Instead of scrolling past like I normally do, I saw a post that just, oh my gosh, it was the most despicable thing I've ever seen. And it involved a little boy who's 13, his name's Jackson. He was born with a, a birth defect. He doesn't have a hip socket. So he's in a wheelchair, he's had multiple surgeries and all he wanted for this next surgery coming up, which is a big one because this could enable him to walk better than he's ever walked before because right now he uses predominantly a wheelchair. But all he wanted was a puppy. And so his parents, um, they looked around, they kept getting denied by rescued, which I thought was weird because I mean, rescues are bulging at the seams right now, so that bothered me. So that that told me it was either something they were putting on their application that wasn't quite right, or um, I don't know, maybe God just knew it wasn't the right dog. But um, they thought they found the right dog, and it was a little French bulldog, and they checked it out. Now this is someone who's had dogs before. She She's a nurse. Um, she also was a manager of a vet clinic before that. So, I mean, she is no stranger to dogs and she did her due diligence and um, found this dog and put money down on it. And she went to pick it up and the man at the door said, you're the sixth person who's showed up today. It was a scam and their money was gone. So they told Jackson that um, the puppy was sick and Jackson, who's 13, was devastated. And I say he's 13 because Jackson also has a nine-year-old sister named Mackenzie. And separately from Jackson's birth defect, Mackenzie has a very rare disease. Only 500 people in the whole world have it where her lungs actually bleed. So little Mackenzie or Kenzie, um, she's on oxygen. So <laughs> uh, scammers, you know, they're evil people to start with, but to scam a family with two children who are so deserving and they just want a puppy is just unconscionable. So I, um, I, <laughs> I couldn't let that go by. And so I contacted the mother, Melissa, and I told her that I wanted to learn more about their family. I wanted to stop over. I wanted to basically do a yard check because I had some contacts. Um, wanted to help them out, but I wanted to make sure they were legit. Um, I've been in rescue a long time, as I said, but I also believe in responsible breeding because every once in a while you have a situation where you have to know what the genetics are with that dog. You have to know the background. You have to know the temperament. Um, they really needed a hypoallergenic dog, to be honest. Uh, they have a pool, which is very important to those children for their health, and they need a dog that, that's going to be able to be in that pool with them. So... Um, I reached out to some friends and we actually have one of their puppies from a couple years ago, uh, Greg and Jacqueline Cleveland in Tennessee. And I told them the story and um, well, we'll just take it from there. But um, 
I'm talking too much, but I wanted to, to tell you what was happening. Uh, long story short, the puppy came to Virginia today from Tennessee and a couple dreams came true. So we're gonna show you how it unfolded. My best friend sent me a post on Facebook that said that someone was uh, rehoming puppies that were about two to three months old. Uh, we have been searching for a puppy for our kids for a while. Um, my daughter is oxygen dependent. Uh, she has idiopathic pulmonary hemosiderosis. My son has congenital hip dysplasia and is currently wheelchair bound, uh, hopefully temporarily. And we were having a really hard time going to shelters and, and finding the, the perfect fit that would work for our family, given the circumstances that we have. So I contacted this person, come to find out that the Facebook was a friend of a friend. Uh, they were friends with a couple of my friends that we've known for a really long time. So I was like, okay, we'll give it a shot. It was a scam. They sent us to this man's house and um, he said that he had been uh, threatened before because of this situation. So me being the, um, the person that I am decided that no one else that I could think of was going to fall f get this scammed this way also. So I made a couple Facebook posts uh, and a couple local groups that I am a part of and said, if you see this, if you see this going on, this is not true, this is a scam, blah, blah, blah. And Amy reached out to me and said, um, I'm sorry that what your family is going through, um, I have um, a perfect breed that would be great for your family in the circumstances that you have right now. And I was like, oh, that'll be fantastic. Um, and so we arranged and planned and, uh, Legacy Golden Doodles was gracious enough to gift my kids a puppy that we can raise to be a perfect fit in our household. And we are so thankful for Legacy Golden Doodles, Jacqueline and Greg, for giving this giving us this opportunity. So some backstory, Amy Hurst reached out a few weeks ago and uh, she had come across a very deserving family uh, with two uh, special awesome kids who were really wanting a golden doodle puppy. And we are so excited to bless them with this beautiful puppy. We're so excited to bless this family with the golden doodle puppy. We hope they, they love it so much and we hope they have a great experience with leg leg legacy golden doodles. We feel very honored and uh, the, the parent dogs of this puppy have always been a great blessing to us in our lives every day and we hope that they can experience the same thing that we have. And we're very fortunate to be involved with this and appreciate the Hearst uh, for their work and, and just hope that this puppy is a great blessing to this family. Yes, and Doug has driven all the way from Virginia to pick up this puppy uh, for the family. So special shout out to Amy and Doug and Brody. Uh, thank you guys. <music>
just got back into Virginia with little Luna after nine hours in the car. She did wonderful. I'm sure she's excited to see the kids. I know I am. <laughs> but thank you, absolutely thank you to Jacqueline and Greg for their kindness and generosity. They are wonderful. It's great to see them again. Absolutely. And can't wait to see them again sometime for another dog. Yeah. Hey, no. <laughs> Man, not for us right now. No, not for us yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to miss this one. Yeah, she's so sweet. Oh. So sweet. All right, well, we've got some magic to make and some dreams to make come true right now if I can peel my husband away from this baby. Mm -hmm. So we will be back soon. We just got to the park and our friend has a picnic table all picked out over here and they're flying a kite about, I don't know, maybe a hundred yards away. They have no idea what's going on here. And we're so excited, so we can keep posted. We'll be back soon. Hi. Hi. Oh, hello. Yeah, you can pet our puppy. This is Luna. <laughs> yeah. She said, like, try to jump. What's your name? Mackenzie. Hi, Mackenzie. Oh, hey, Mackenzie. Were you guys flying a kite? Yeah. How did it work yeah. out? Not that good. <laughs> did it? No? I've never had luck with can it. Can I pet her? Yeah, kite. sure. That's Jackson. Okay. Yeah. Jackson. Hey, Jackson. Yeah. How old are you guys? Uh, thirteen. Nine and nine. Nine oh. and thirteen. I'm nine. Years You're old. almost to double digits. Wow. Yeah. We got six more months. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. Do so, you have a puppy at home? No, uh, we have a bird. Anymore. You have a bird. I have a bird. Yeah, oh, look, I've got a bird too. Her. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. My husband forgot something in the car. Oh. Yep. Okay, well. So what is that, a girl or a boy? It's a girl. It's a girl. Yeah. Girl. Yeah. Little girl. Yep, little Luna. <laughs> Can I pet her too? Sure. 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 Oh, you're so no, just... <laughs> oh, you're real nice. Well, you know, <laughs> there's something really cool about this puppy. She came all the way from... Tennessee to Virginia today. Wow. She was in the car for nine hours because she heard about two kids that really wanted a puppy. And their names were Jackson and Kenzie. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, little Luna is little yours. Luna is yours. Luna's gonna go home with us. Yay! Yay! <laughs> She's the sweetest. Our bird is gonna break out about this. <laughs> well, will come around. I yeah. think they'll be okay. I and, think so. And Zero's actually a girl. Yeah. Our uh, mom's friend mm -hmm. told us that if we get a puppy, then the puppy will not will learn not to Eat attack the bird. the bird. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> you got her? Yeah. Can uh, put your pulling your You're not big enough yet. <laughs> she's going to be bigger than, than you. Dog. She <laughs> is going to be bigger than you in a, probably a couple months. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're so welcome, sweetie. We know what you guys have been through and and I hear you're having surgery soon. Yep. Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah. Well, when? When is it? Uh, Not sure yet. We have to go to Philadelphia for a consult with Dr. Shankar, and then we're going to be scheduling either there.
All right, we have one more surprise for you. And this wonderful woman over here, her name is Deborah I'm Hall. Deborah. I own Dashing Dogs in Carrollton, Virginia. <laughs> and I would like to give you grooming, boarding, and daycare when you need it for free. Thank you. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Because you will need it. <laughs> and I will teach you both that a comb brush. will fit in your hand and comb the dog's yeah. <laughs> you, you can just sit right in your chair and she can be on your lap and you can just comb, comb, comb. Yes.